Right, so as promised, uh, my review of Body Art by Christ Christopher Triana. Uh, my first book by him, I've not read anything else by him, uh, but I've, I've heard nothing but good things. Uh, but I tried, went with Body Art, I thought, well, let's give it a go. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk, but Karina's always going on about it, and she's got pretty good taste. So, uh, yeah, got it. Uh, started reading it. And it's weird, I always feel like when you start reading something by someone, you kind of, I think you can feel in the first couple of pages, if it's for you, like there's some authors I've read, uh, across different genres, who the novel was perfectly fine, but it doesn't, uh, catch with me, it doesn't, it doesn't click, something doesn't click, so as good as the novel is, if it just doesn't click, it just, I can't stay invested. Uh, and this just straight away <laughs> took me, took me. Uh, uh, wait, let's get to the, get to the synopsis. It's basically, it follows uh, Harold, who's uh, like a, works in a funeral home uh, with his sister, and uh, which was their parents. It follows uh, Candy, a former, I say former, porn star, and uh, Ruga, Ruga, it's been a couple of days and I'm, I'm practically drained it already. Uh, the director, who she used to work with in the past, who calls her back to do a new enterprise with him. And uh, Toby and Jessica. Jessica, man. Yeah, Toby and Jessica, two young, say young, teenagers, late teenagers, who are like going to have a summer holiday. And uh, the, the three stories combine, they cross over, and... Uh, you would, it just blew my mind. It blew my mind. The, the, the uh, it's hard to describe without ruining any of it, but it was. I was thinking some words to describe the book. It captivated me. It is fucking extreme as, as fuck. And I always swear my reviews, but fuck, man, fucking hell. It was just like, it, it was just like fucking beyond. Beyond what I was expecting, I was already expecting some pretty extreme stuff. And then, and then you had extreme, excuse me. You had extreme, that was the line for extreme. You start and you got extreme. And then, it doesn't just step past extreme, it fucking long jumps past extreme. And it's, it's just, it was just fucking, what am I reading? And it's so fucking cool. I, I, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, it absolutely, it just blew my mind. It is, it is what, I keep thinking, well, so I'm now, I've now started reading, uh, X Boogie, Boogie Man, Boogie Man by Christopher Triana. And, and again, that is just straight away. It's just fucking pulled me in. I'm like, I think 50 pages in already. And I'm like, from like the third page, second page, I'm just fucking hooked. This guy is, is, is fucking amazing. His, his writing is amazing. His descriptions is, and it's again, it's like when I was talking about, uh, Megan Stockton and I was talking about Candace Nola. Uh, it feels, it's obviously not obviously, but it feels like effortless. Like it's so, it just, it's just effortless fucking brilliance. Uh, to the point. Uh, same as when I've read the, the two books by the two ladies I mentioned, reading it, and I just, makes me want to give up writing in the sense that you read it and you go, fuck me, this is writing, this is what, what am I doing, do you know what I mean, it, 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 it's a sobering type, this is, this is, this is real fucking quality, and it is, it's, it's fucking blew my mind, I forget, I've said that about 20 times now, but it absolutely, fuck me, listen, Listen, if you haven't read Body Art by Christopher Triana, you need to fucking read it now. I'm going to read it again. Uh, I read it on Kindle, so I need to get a paperback version. Desperately. Uh, there's others I want to read by him. Desperately, I've, I desperately want to read uh, The Splatter Western. 30, excuse me, fuck now. 13th Coyote, I think it is. And there's another one. Uh, you all will know what it is. Uh, but I need to get them. But, but this body art, and it's so, such a innocuous, innocuous, is that a word? 
innocuous title that you think, you know, because I like a bit of body art. I mean, I've got my fucking head tattoos. Head tattoos and, and body art. Yeah, it's cool. But this is, just, what the fuck? It's like not a body art. I, you know, I can't even put it in the words. It's, it's so fucking out there. It, it's just, it's a, it's a fucking head fuck. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I think, oh God, so you have to see a film of it. I didn't never get past the census, like any census, like ever. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but it was, I was, I was reading it and I've got this annoying habit. I've got a lot of annoying habits, but I've got a really annoying habit of, of casting books in my head when I, when I read it. And, uh, and, I, in my head, I cast uh, Rutger Ruger, the director, as a uh, Udo Kier, who I fucking love. Like, I fucking love him, man. Oh, God. Amazing actor. Just, well, he's a fucking legend, isn't he? But I could just see, when I was reading it, I was just picturing Udo Kier. Kier? Kier. As, uh, as Rutger Ruger, however you say it. And, and it just made it, it just... I was picturing Danny Trejo as Xavier, uh, and what's her name? I can never remember her name out of, I absolutely love her, and I can't remember her name, out of the amazing chopping mall as Candy. Barbara Crampton would be good as Candy as well. Barbara Crampton as Candy. Yes, yes, that work. With what, with Udo Kier as Ruger, and Danny Trejo as, uh, Make the film. Fucking someone make the film. Someone give Chris Ruggiano a fucking fuck ton of money and make some somehow make this into a film. Because it is just off the hook. It's just amazing. Uh, this And it's one of these books that you just read and you're reading it and you're like, wow, he went there. And then he takes another step into fucking hell. And then, and then it just keeps going. And and the, the characters are so well written. The conversations that they have, despite the context of the of the, the genre of, of of the of the plot and that, it all feels real. Uh, and they and they're they're likable. Not all of them, but they're likable. And you you kind of feel as they're devolving, or one of them's devolving. It, it's just amazing. It's so amazing. Yeah, I love that. I fucking love that. If you hadn't guessed. Uh, blew my mind again. So about the hundredth time I've said that. Uh, so I'm, I'm, so I'm now reading uh, Ex Boogeyman by Christopher, and and that's just fucking it's amazing. But uh, a review of that will come when I finish it. But in the meantime, Body Art. If you haven't read it, go and read it. I'm going to read it again. We need a film. Fucking somehow on some batshit fucking planet, get it past the senses, and we need it. And and fuck. If a, a one-word review of, of it would be, fuck it. Like, it fucking amazing. Amazing book. Lots of swearing in my review. But fuck it. That's, that's what I do. And, yeah. Check it out.